So it's February now, who's given up already on their January exercise plans? Don't forget, uh, in one of my other videos, um, I suggested that it may be that you remove that term exercise and look at ways of getting out of breath in a different fashion. And I'm still a big believer in that. Now, the purpose of this video, uh, and by the way, if you have already given up on those January plans, don't worry, there's still a long year ahead for you to get energized and look at your exercise in a different way. So the purpose of this video is to show you that you don't need to go to a gym. You don't even need to schedule, unless you want to, um, specific times in the week or in the day when you want to exercise. In my opinion, exercise can be crowbarred into your day anytime, anywhere. And so this is me doing one of my usual dog walks and incorporating exercise into my walk. Now, I have to say the great thing about doing exercise when you're in your shorts and your t-shirt, it's actually quite a balmy temperature today. Um, but as we know, it has been fairly chilly <laughs> these last couple of weeks. So actually building in exercise when you're walking around in shorts and t-shirt is probably quite a good thing. But I just love doing it anyway, because I'll walk around this bit of the countryside and I'm sort of almost subconsciously seeing exercise equipment. <laughs> so let me show you what I mean. There's, there's a prime example of um, uh, you need to build good core strength when you uh, are slipping all over the place. Um, so I'm going to show you a few examples. And by the way, I'm not a big believer in exercising for exercise sake where you consider it a chore, because I think that's a recipe for disaster in itself. That's why a lot of people end up um, exercising during January with lots of enthusiasm, February hits and they uh, stop exercising. So anyway, have a look at my uh, ideas as I wander around this beautiful countryside. <laughs> yeah. Oh look, a decline press opportunity.
this is why exercising in nature totally makes sense. As I do a few exercises along here, yeah, you can hear a few cars in the background, but you can also hear the skylarks um, in the, uh, the meadow there. You don't get that in a gym. <laughs> it's just such a beautiful day. And for me, it's, it's that that inspires. Um, you just feel so much more energized, breathing fresh air, hearing the sounds of animals. Winston nudging his wet nose against you. <laughs> anyway, let's not stop here. Let's see what else I can find. Why not chuck in a couple of yoga moves? You could even do one of the five rights. Or one of the other ones. So Here we are again at my, uh, my new favorite pull-up spot. I'm gonna show you a couple of things you can do actually, rather than just pull yourself up in the usual fashion. You can, in my usual exercise philosophy, mix it up, you might say, and, and just hold it for a couple of seconds or um, go down slower than you go up. Who uh, Anyway, have a watch. So anyway, you get my point. It doesn't matter whether you live in the countryside or you live, if you live in the city. And in fact, quite often, actually, I think if you live in the city, there's far more opportunities to exercise on, on and off the buildings, on uh, scaffolding, on whatever you might find. And I guess the only downside is that you've got a lot more humans, but actually when you stop caring, <laughs> as, as you've noticed there, you know, Whenever I exercise, even in the countryside, there's always people out walking their dog. Um, so the point here is, of course, that if you remove that term exercise and just choose to move in a variety of ways, get out of breath in a variety of ways, then bosh, you are exercising. Um, but you don't have to think of it in that, in that term. And... I think for those that do have a dog, you have no excuse. You are in the perfect situation. You have to take that dog out once, twice a day. So when you do, why not crowbar in some exercise? For those that don't have a dog, 
Well, doubtless, I would imagine you walk from one location to another occasionally. Well, it's those times that you can build in some exercise. Anyway, my thoughts for today. Oh, now perhaps I also ought to mention uh, the tribe of evolutionaries is now up and running and growing fast. So for those that have been watching my YouTube journey, uh, you might want to join. So it's on Facebook, as I say, tribe of Ev evolutionaries. I'll put a link uh, in the description below. I think the lovely thing already about this is that those that are on their own journey are already raising questions with others, asking for feedback, um, providing us all with an indication as to where they are on their journey, be it the beginning, the middle, wherever it is, uh, the methods that they've already tried, explored, um, many of whom, by the way, are right at the beginning. So don't worry if that's you. This tribe is for everyone, everyone that wants to evolve, everyone that wants to enhance their mental health, their physical health through a variety of ways. And no, it doesn't always mean Wim Hof. Yes, I know my channel can be a bit Wim Hoffery, but um, it is all methods that we are exploring. Um, and those that work, we continue with. So come and join the fold. Evolution of Dave, signing off. Thank you.